Hello everyone and welcome to the first video on Java programming. The last two videos were on how to get started on on, uh, on Eclipse and uh, getting Java on your computer. This time we will actually get started on programming in Java. So uh, this series will be done using lightweight Java game library uh, with Eclipse. Uh, what lightweight Java game what lightweight Java game library is uh, it's it's a uh, let's just say it's a uh, it's, it's a graphics library that uh, that can allow us to communicate with OpenGL easier. Um, you will need to download Lightweight Java Game Library along with Slick Util. Um, download links to to those two files will be available in the description. Um, they will not be provided via Dropbox. There there are outside links. Okay, uh, so that's that's one thing you need to do before we get started. Uh, another thing that you need to get started on is creating your own workspace. Uh, so, so, don't worry about this. We'll uh, start from scratch. So, I did create a workspace folder ahead of time. It's called Workspaces. So, this is this is a folder that I create to hold all my other workspaces. So, I have one named Mac Tools. I have one named Sandbox. Uh, the one that I'll create with you. It's called Tutorials WP. WP is uh, how I abbreviate workspace. And then here, create two folders. One of them will be called lib. No, not two folders. Just create one called lib. And within it, create two more. And one of them will be called. This one, just double tap on my mouse pad. And one will be called natives. And the other one will, will be called, I can double tap on my mouse pad. The other one will be called jars. All right. So inside of the jars folder, okay, let's go to, go to here first. Once you download it, uh, go ahead and add, go ahead and check out the folder. And from here, you will need you need the uh, LWHGL util and uh, and the and the plain LWHGL. All right, and then uh, and then uh, well, since we're going to be using our native folders anyways, access the native folders from this folder, and then uh, click on the folder for for your PC version. So I'm using Windows. Um, leave that open, and in our lib folder, we are going to put all those jar files in here. And then inside the natives folder, I'm gonna put all, all of these natives in here. All right, so I'm using Windows computer, so I'm gonna go inside the Windows folder, put these in. Now we now we're ready to open up Eclipse. Look at this. That's fine. Let me pull that out. You don't need this anymore. And close that out. All right, and now we're ready to go into Eclipse. Oops. All right, and when you open up your Eclipse, I'm going to ask you for your workspace. I want to choose. We're going to choose our newly created one. Let's 
close this out. And right click on this and uh, create a new Java project. And for our purposes, I'm going to call this one first tutorial. First tutorial project, so it's a project folder. And then right click, and then now when you, you know, drop down on this, you notice that it automatically created as your source folder. Now right click on your, on your project folder, go down to properties, and click on Java build path. Libraries, and we're going to add external jars. And now we're, and we're, uh, we're going to go to our workspace folder, and we're going to keep on going, and uh, until we get to our jars folder, we're going to add all three of them. And then, and then drop down on your lwjgl.jar file, select your native library. It has none in it, but you want to add some. Edit, external folder. And then we're going to keep on going down into, uh, into our native folder. All right, and now, and now we have everything we need to create our first lightweight Java game library project. I guess that's what we'll, we'll call it. Now we right click on our project, we're going to create a new package. Don't create classes yet. We're going to create a package. Uh, a package is, is a way to Organize all of our uh, Java files so we can have a, have a so uh, we have one package that's going to contain all, all of our our main stuff and then another package that, that holds all of our our, <coughs> our user interface stuff and another one for for uh, graphics I guess and it's a uh, so our first package that we're going to create it's uh it's going to be for all of our main stuff. So I'm going to call this main folder. And then and in this package, create create a new class. And in here, this is going to be so this is going to be the only class with a main method, All right? And then uh, before I forget, uh, we're going to check this box that, that creates this public static void main method for us. Um, and then, uh, um, I guess we'll call this, I'm going to call this, uh, this will just call it main, because why not? We're not going to write this method the same way as we wrote it in our, Hello, in our Hello World program. So in our Hello World program, how we wrote it was, was uh, here we, we would we wrote, uh, we would write our commands inside this main method. So, uh, so, so, it's, so, it, so we would so uh, this is what a command would look like, right? So you would write a line of code, and and uh, when you run it, it would go down here, and uh, it would go to your main, and I would say, okay, so I'm going to print out a message that says do something. But instead, we're not going to not going to write it here. We're going to write it inside a constructor. And it's going to and we're going to pass nothing into it, right? So whatever we would normally put in here, we are going to put in here. So, 
so so we write our command in here and then in here we would in our main method we would just write new main all right so so when we run it it would still it would still do what you expected it to do print out do something I right, um to get started on on any on any uh, program that involves LWJGL, you want to have a a while loop that that says while not display that is close requested. So this loop is here to to, uh, to keep our display open, and then and then in here and um, in here you write all the logic in here, and then um, outside just simply say display that destroy. That's that's going to take out. So that's going to Close display. It's going to destroy it. Um, and then we hover over it. Uh, just import this from OpenGL. And now we have it. And above, we uh, we want to initialize OpenGL. So we're going to write something that we're going to write a method that we're going to create in an, in another file. So in here for now, over here for now, just write, just write like something like setup or setup display. It's gonna go, and uh, you're gonna get an error that says that says that uh, they, they just, this method is not created and, and it's gonna ask you to create one. Uh, we're gonna create that in another package. So this package is gonna hold all of our graphics. It's going to right click on the source folder. Create a new package. And, and we can just call this the, uh, call this the graphics package. And then and in here, we'll just create, create, uh, create a new class uh, especially for our display. So we're going to say this, and uh, I'm just going to call it display manager since uh, since display is already a class that exists in the uh, in lightweight JavaScript library. And then in here, uh, we'll create a method called setup. And we're going to see before that we need two numbers. So one of them is going to be for the display width, and the other one's going to be for the height. There's a private static final int width height and so with this this final just means that, that we're not going to be changing it anymore. So these two are fixed constants. So for the width and the height, I want to make them both 400. You can make them however you like. Can you can uh, if you want to adjust it? Yeah, you have to jump in and change it. So in the setup, uh, so first uh, we want to set the title. Set the title to first tutorial, and then in here, um, and then we're also going to set display mode, 
It's going to take a display mode object. It's going to say new display mode of size width height. And then uh, and then we're going to say display dot create. Let's import this. And now they're going to ask us to surround these two with the try catch. All right, we're going to put this in here as well. So this try catch statement just says if this if these two if this part fails then just stop the program and print out what went wrong okay and then and as for uh okay, and now we're going to create another method for update so here we're going to say we're going to do two things first we're going to update the display Now, now let's sync it first. Let's sync it at at 60 frames per second. You can change it anytime you want. I've seen people do it at 120. That's fine as well. But and then uh, and I'm just going to simply say display the update. And then uh, we're going to create the last method. It's called exit, and that's just going to close the display. So now in here, uh, we, we can call uh, we, uh, we can call our package. So we could say uh, import static graphics dot uh, display manager and then we're going to import everything from it that's what this asterisk means as you can see now this should have went away It turns out that I forgot to make these methods uh, static. That is my mistake. So now there shouldn't be a problem. Normally a control D should just destroy, no, should just uh, take out the entire line, but I don't know why mine is not working. So this so a setup now works, and we want this to just uh, say exit, and then uh, in here what is what is say uh, we'll say update, and uh, display manager will take care of everything for us. All right, so uh, so if we run it, we should we should see a display of just a size 400 by 400. And here it is.